Okie dokie, artichokey. Good morning. Sorry, it's a couple minutes late today. We are getting set up for our in-person summer reading signups. More news about that at the end. We're gonna go ahead and do our welcome song. Are we ready? So we're gonna say, Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. First we clap our hands just so, then we reach and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. Good job. Now let's do good morning. I don't have any stuffed animals or finger puppets with me today, so we're gonna have to use our excellent imaginations and pretend that my two pointer fingers are friends saying hi to each other, okay? So we're gonna take a deep breath. Good job. We say, Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How about you? How about you? Excellent. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. See you, Sped. you, Sped. Good morning, you buenos dias. Welcome, everybody. Let's go ahead and do our hand washing song, and then we will find the mouse in the house. All right, one more deep breath. Excellent. We say top and bottom, top and bottom, in between. In between, scrub them both together, scrub them both together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. And it's time to find the mouse in the house. You know how this goes. We're gonna say, little mouse, little mouse, are you in the red house? One, two, three. Let's see. <gasps> What is that? It's definitely not a mouse. It looks like it's a green frog. So we're gonna have to keep looking. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the blue house? One, two, three. What's in there? <gasps> not a mouse, but what is it? It's an orange circle. That's right, but we're gonna have to keep looking. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the brown house? One, two, three. Definitely not a mouse, but it is a whoop, purple star. That's right. Gonna have to keep looking. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the pink house? One, two, three. Not a little mouse, but it is a fly. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Who here likes fly guy? I like fly guy too. But it's not a mouse, so we're gonna have to keep looking. What about we look at the yellow house? Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the yellow house? One, two, three. No little mouse, but we do have a pink heart. So we're going to have to keep looking. What about the orange house? I think that this is a good one. Let's do little mouse, little mouse. Are you in the orange house? One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Well, he tried to jump, but he didn't quite fall. We did find our little mouse. Let's see if there's anything else under the last two houses now that we found our little mouse. Which one, which one? Should we do the dark pink or the green? Let's do the dark pink, because I really like pink. So we're gonna say, little mouse, little mouse, is there another one of you under the dark pink house? One, two, three. I wonder what's under here. Whoop, there is another little mouse, but there is a green heart. Good job, last one. Do we think there's a second little mouse hiding in the green house? Let's find out. 
Little mouse, little mouse, is there another one of you under the greenhouse? One, two, three. Whoop. I wonder what it could be. That is not a little mouse, but it is a yellow diamond. Good job. Thank you for helping me find the little mouse and finding all sorts of fun, colorful shapes and a couple other insects we could talk about. All right, so let's go ahead and wake up our hands and then we will read our first book, okay? So we're going to do I Wake Up My Hands with a clap, clap, clap. Let's take another deep breath. Good job. We say, I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 a clap, 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 a clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Let's get all those wiggles out before we read, because we're going to have to sit on our bottoms quietly so we can hear the book, right? So let's wake up our eyes next. I wake up my eyes with a blink, blink, blink. A blink, 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 a blink, blink, blink. I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Good job. What about our feet? Let's go ahead and wake up our feet, okay? I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 a stomp, 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 a stomp, stomp, stomp. I wake up my feet with a stomp, stomp, stomp. And I wiggle my waggles away. Good job. Next, let's do shoulders. I wake up my shoulders with a shrug, shrug, shrug. A shrug, shrug, shrug. A shrug, shrug, shrug. I wake up my shoulders with a shrug, shrug, shrug. And I, you got it, wiggle my waggles away. Let's do one more. Belly. I wake up my belly with a beep, beep. Beep, a beep, 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 a beep, beep, beep. I wake up my belly with a beep, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Good job. Did we get all our wiggles out or do we have to do one more? I think we got all our wiggles out. Yeah, I'm all wiggled out. So we're gonna read Peter McCarty's Henry in Love. Henry in Love. All right, so this is Henry in Love by Peter McCarty, and this is read with permissions by Blazer and Gray, which is an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. So Henry in Love by Peter McCarty. Are we ready? And here's the cover if anyone wants to check it out later. Okay. To Yoon Hee. I love seeing who the book is dedicated to. Henry awoke to the smell of blueberry muffins. Ah, oh, so yummy. Who here likes muffins? I do, of any flavor, especially chocolate. He got ready for the day, went potty, and headed downstairs to the kitchen. Mmm, gotta get those muffins. For breakfast, Henry and his brother, Tim, had cereal, toast, a banana, and a glass of juice. <gasps> No muffins. The blueberry muffins are for school, said their mother. <gasps> that explains it. Look at those yummy blueberry muffins. Those look tasty. Can I have one too, Mrs. Calico? Asked Henry's friend, Sancho. With the blueberry muffins in their backpacks, the three boys started for school. Walk, 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 walk. Do you walk to school? I used to walk to school. On the way, they met a football player from the high school team right here. His number is 83. That's a very high number. Do you guys play ball? He asked. They said they did. Okay, go deep. Whoosh, and he threw the ball very, very, very far. Way to go, little man, said the football player. Look, Henry caught the football. Good job, Henry. You're pretty fast. I have a sister your age. She's fast, too. 
Henry knew his sister. He thought she was the loveliest girl in his class. Which girl do we think is his sister? Let's look at the pre page before. So the football player has big floppy ears and is covered in white fur. Do we think maybe he's a bunny? So we need to look for the bunny in this page and that's probably his sister. I see one right here. She's got one floppy ear that sticks straight up and one that droops down. I think that's his bunny sister. And she is the loveliest girl in Henry's class. Her name was Chloe. Oh, Chloe. She sat in the back row. There's Chloe. What's next? Are you looking at me? Chloe asked. <laughs> For lunch, Henry had a peanut butter sandwich, an apple, and a carton of milk. He would save the blueberry muffin for afternoon snack. That's some good time management, Henry. At recess, Henry decided to walk up to Chloe. You're not gonna talk to a girl, are you? Said Sancho. <laughs> Henry did his best forward roll. Show him what you can do, Chloe. Did I miss a page? No, I did not. So Henry did his best forward roll and Abby, Chloe's friend, said, show him what you can do, Chloe. Are we showing off now? Chloe turned a perfect cartwheel. Henry was impressed. I would be impressed too. A perfect cartwheel is hard to do. You're it, a boy named Leonard tagged Henry. The class was on, or the chase was on with the whole class. I love playing tag. Oh, looks like Henry's chasing Chloe over this way and over that way and then back around and all the way to the playground. You will never catch me, said Chloe, because remember, she's fast. Back in class, Mrs. Devine announced it was time to change the seating arrangements. Billy, you will sit here. Abby, you will sit there. Bessie, over there. Tyrone, you sit here. Sancho, your desk will be here. And Sandra, you there. I wonder where Chloe and Henry will sit. And Chloe, please move your desk next to Henry's. Ooh, now it was time for snack. What did you bring? Chloe asked. Oh, is he gonna get rid of all these? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, thank you, Henry. Chloe ate the blueberry muffin and Henry had a carrot. The end. Oh, that was such good sharing, Henry, right? When we read a book at Ukiah Storytime, we hold it up above our heads. We say, hip, hip, hooray, I read one book today. If you are signed up for our summer reading program, please make sure you count us reading this book towards your reading log. That was about five minutes of reading, so excellent job. And, um, well, if you're doing this for children, we're going to go ahead and count as minutes. No, I think we're doing it for all ages. We are counting minutes up to hours. So yeah, this counts as about five minutes of reading. And if you're doing a thousand books before kindergarten, this book, of course, counts towards your reading log there as well. All right, let's go ahead and do a couple more songs and then we'll do our goodbye sequence, okay? We're going to do open, shut them nice and slow and then a little faster the second time. Deep breath. Good job, we say. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. They want to go into your mouth, but do not let them in. Wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them, just like this, this, this. 
Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, blow a great big kiss. Mwah! Walk them, walk them, walk them, walk them, right down to your toes, toes, toes. Raise them, raise them to the sky, big stretch, and touch them to your nose. Good job. One more time, a little faster. <gasps> Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. They want to go into your mouth, but do not let them in. Wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them just like this, this, this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, blow a great big kiss. Mwah! Walk them, walk them, walk them, walk them, right down to your toes, toes, toes. Raise them, raise them to the sky and touch them to your nose. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and do flutter, flutter, butterfly, and then we'll do our closing sequence. So hands up, turn your palms to face you. Good job, make an X with your arms, perfect. And hook your thumbs together, just like that. And we have our butterfly, all right? So we're gonna put our arms up and we're gonna sing. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, way up in the summer sky. Floating by for all to see, floating by so merrily. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, floating in the summer sky. Sorry, my couch is so noisy. All right, let's do that one more time. Are you ready? Hands up. Turn your palms to face your beautiful face. Cross them in an X and hook your thumbs together. We're going to start on the other side this time. Ready? Good job. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, way up in the summer sky, floating by for all to see, floating by so merrily. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, floating in the summer sky. Good job. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our closing sequence, and then we're gonna do a little bit news of, of news about summer reading, okay? So, one more deep breath. Good job. We say, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. And it's goodbye train time. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. The goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, doot doot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, the goodbye train is leaving, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, doot doot. So we'll say goodbye to story time for now, bye bye. We'll say goodbye to story time for now. Bye bye. We'll say goodbye to story time. Say goodbye to story time. We'll say goodbye to story time for now. Bye bye. All right, so today is the first day of summer reading here with the Mendocino County Library branches. So here at Ukiah, we are doing in-person signups at a table out front in, front in the front vestibule of the library before you come in the doors. Um, so for children, I will have a reading log and a set of crayons because it is a color in reading log, as well as um, a bookmark and a pencil and a little sheet of events for all ages. Adults will have an activity card and a reading 
log and then teens everything is virtual for the teens but we can go ahead and sign you up in person if you would like to do that and then enter your name onto the website after we close so if you would like to sign up and you haven't done so already uh, at mendolibrary.beanstack.org or with the beanstack app you can go ahead and swing by today and we will get you signed up in person at the table in front of the library this will be running through June, July 23rd. The reading goal for children is only seven hours and for adults and teens it's only 15 hours because we've all had a very stressful year and a half so we would like to make sure that our goals are very very manageable this year. And um, for children there's also a halfway goal so if you reach three and a half hours of reading there will be an additional prize in there for you. Um, once you have started logging your reading and have reached your halfway or final goal for children, you can pick up your prizes between 2 and 4 in the afternoon on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Just ask for Sam in the children's room and I will help you pick out your prize. So the halfway prize is a glitter temporary tattoo and a coloring book and then the final prize is the book of your choice. I have a whole bunch hidden behind these curtains as well as an extra surprise gift that we will pick out once you have reached your final goal of seven hours. So if you want to sign up, go ahead and stop by today. If you don't make it today, that's totally fine. You can stop by at any time to pick up a paper log or I can help you sign up online. But today we are on, today's the only day we're going to be giving out things like the pencil and the bookmark and the, um, the crayons and stuff. Otherwise you, you will just get the, um, the paper reading log. Um, otherwise, you have a fantastic afternoon. Oh, I forgot to say. So the first 150 people who sign up for summer reading are getting a $5 gift card to either Schott's Bakery, the Nook Artisan Gelato, uh, Sword and Board, which is a gaming, tabletop gaming store, um, or um, what was the last one? Oh, the Mendocino Book Company. How could I forget? So if you are one of the first 150 people to sign up, you will go ahead and get one of those $5 gift cards. I will be contacting people either tomorrow or Tuesday to let them know they can come pick them up. Um, we have already had about 75 people sign up online, so you're going to have to be one of the first 75 people to sign up in person today in order to get one of those gift cards. All right, so that's the last of the news. I'm going to go set up for summer reading. You have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.